Ultrasonic cleaners. We all know they are great for cleaning stuff. I mean, come on, it's in the name. What else can I do with this? Well, let's conduct a little experiment and find out. Greetings, fellow DIYer, and welcome to my video. I recently did an experiment where I used my ultrasonic cleaner as a way to agitate some black oxide solution. Now, if you're not familiar with that process, basically I was trying to protect bare steel. It's a video that I put up just a little bit ago. You know, really, you should go watch it. But basically, the premise of the video was by adding the agitation that the ultrasonic cleaner creates, I wanted to see if it put a better coating on the steel, and in fact, it did. It was significantly darker and a much better coating on the steel that went into that black oxide coating. At the end of the video, I asked you what you would like to see as far as experiments regarding this ultrasonic cleaner. And so far, the number one suggestion that I have gotten is evaporust. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is a non-corrosive, non-toxic rust removal solution. And the best part about it is it works simply by soaking parts. Now, one thing about Evaporust is it works better when it is warmer. And in the past, when I have used this product, I've used a cheap fish tank heater as a way to heat the solution and basically help decrease the amount of time that the parts have to soak. This ultrasonic cleaner has the ability to do heat. However, for this little experiment that I've concocted, I want an apples to apples comparison. And this solution right here is not heated. And even if I used my fish tank heater, it's gonna be challenging to get this and this at the same temperature. So we're just gonna do room temperature with both solutions and see how it turns out. Now here's my piece of rusted metal. And as you can see, it is the same piece and I have cut it in half. And I did that for a very specific reason. One, the kind of steel can affect how rust penetrates into it. It can also affect how rust removers like this work. In general, anything that's steel, this is gonna remove the rust from. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that it may take longer for one piece of steel to lose its rust compared to another. The second thing I wanted is I wanted two pieces that I could compare that have the exact same amount of rust. Now, this is a mid-60s Mustang spring perch that, not in good shape, there was no point in trying to rebuild it or do anything with it, but because of all the rust on it, it's consistent, it's equal, and that allows me to conduct this test. So, pretty simply, all I'm going to do is put one piece in this bucket, one piece in this bucket, and then we're gonna turn this machine on. Now, there's one other thing I need to do. I'm gonna remove this bucket from the table because I don't want any vibrations going through the table into the bucket and throwing my results off. This machine makes a horrible sound on camera, so we are just gonna skip ahead and we will have some results here shortly. I've got it set to run for 10 minutes. We're gonna pull both pieces out and compare at the 10 minute mark. And I have a feeling that will be insufficient and we'll probably have to go again. So without further ado, we'll take this piece, drop it in there, and we'll take this piece, drop it in there, and then we turn it on. All right, our 10 minutes are up. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but there is a cloud that has formed inside this container, where there is no cloud like that inside this one. That bodes very well for using the ultrasonic cleaner as a way to accelerate the properties of evaporust. Let me reach in here and fish this guy out. All right, after 10 minutes, I'm honestly not seeing a ton of difference. Some, but it's not significant. I think we're definitely gonna have to put it in for some more time. 
I definitely know this would be working better if it was heated, but again, I wanted an apples to apples comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and throw both of these back in their specific containers. And we're going to set this for 20 minutes. And then that way we can let it go a little further and see if there's a significant difference. Twenty more minutes have elapsed. Let's get these parts fished out and see what kind of a difference we have. Now, if you couldn't see it before, you could probably see it now. This solution is completely cloudy, where this solution is still clear. After 20 more minutes, 30 minutes total, I'm starting to see some bare steel on this one. It's not totally removed, but you can see that we have corners and edges that are kind of starting to show bare steel. This one does not have that effect. So there is for sure, without a doubt, an improvement when using the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to give it one more round. We're going to do 20 more minutes and whatever we end up with is what we end up with. And I will draw some conclusions after that fact. So the results are in and using evaporust in an ultrasonic cleaner for sure works. Now this was a very aggressively rusted piece of steel, so I really put it up to one of the tougher challenges. And as you can see, looking at the one that was just soaking, we cannot see any bare steel at all. The whole entire thing is still covered in rust, but, oh, no, nope, I take that back. There is a little bit of bare steel right there, but for the most part, this entire piece is still completely rusted. Now this one, the one that was in the ultrasonic cleaner, we're starting to see bare steel throughout the entire thing. So this is conclusive that using the ultrasonic cleaner definitely helps remove the rust quicker. So what does that mean? Does that mean the next time I have a rusted piece of steel that I want to soak in evaporust, that I'm going to put it in this? Probably not. I had this in here for 50 minutes, which is a fair amount of time, not tons of time, but that's a long time to be listening to the noise of the ultrasonic cleaner. And the results are just okay. Evaporust typically takes 12 to 24 hours to completely remove all the rust. And if I've got the time, all I got to do is drop this in this, and wait a day. And more often than not, I'm going to have time to do that. I don't want to use this machine for something like this when I can just easily put it in here, let it sit, and with enough time, get the same results. Had this removed this rust in, say, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, that would be a little bit different situation. I could probably put this in here and run it for another hour to completely get this clean. So again, because of the wear and tear on this machine and the amount of time that these parts would have to be in there, I probably would not use the ultrasonic cleaner. But here's the ultimate takeaway. If I'm in a hurry, if I've got a part that is significantly rusty and I'm trying to get it cleaned up as quickly as possible, I would do this and I would add heat. I put hot water in the ultrasonic cleaner. I would turn the heat up and I have no doubt that with heat and the agitation, we would clean these parts up in no time. Just like before, I'm going to ask you, if there is something you would like to see me test in this machine, please put a comment down in the comment section and let me know what other tests you would like to see, and maybe it'll end up as a test on my channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them also down in the comments, and I will try and get back to you. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.